George is investigating the intercepts of the graph of y is equal to 1 over 60 x to the power of 5 minus 1 quarter x cubed plus x with the x-axis. Factorise the polynomial and prove that there is only one solution to the equation. 1 over 60 x to the 5 minus 1 over 4 x cubed plus x is equal to 0. So to find the intercept with the x-axis then we must put y is equal to 0. This is why we must solve this equation. So 1 over 60 x to the 5 minus 1 quarter x cubed plus x must be equal to 0. So we're going to put this just over a common denominator of 60. So get x to the 5 over 60 minus 15x cubed over 60 plus 60x over 60 is equal to 0. And then we can see there's a common factor of x over 60. So we'll just take that out. x over 60, that's going to leave me x to the power of 4 minus 15x squared plus 60 is equal to 0. So what we've got here, we've now turned this bit bracket into a quartic. Now for the for there to be solutions, either x over 60 is equal to 0, which gives x is equal to 0. So we've actually found the one solution, which is that x is equal to 0. And if you put that back into here, you're going to get y is equal to 0. So there's only, there's only one solution to that equation. So this graph only cuts the axis at x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. But now we're going to use algebra to show that there's not going to be another solution. So taking the other half, which is x to the 4 minus 15x plus 60 is equal to 0. Now this is a quartic, but you can rewrite it as x squared squared minus 15x squared plus 60 is equal to 0. So you might recognise this as a disguised quadratic, where the uh, variable is going to be x squared. Now, so we require only one solution to 1 over 60 x to the 5 minus 1 at 4 x cubed plus x is equal to 0. For this to happen, there needs to be no solutions from 4 uh, x squared squared minus 15 x uh, squared plus 60 is equal to 0. And like I've just said, this is a disguised quadratic. So if we compare it with a x squared x minus b x squared plus c is equal to 0. If you don't like x squared, then you can replace it with a different variable, call it y. The discriminant b squared minus 4ac will be minus 15, b is minus 15 squared, minus 4, times a, which is going to be 1, times c, which is going to be 60. That gives me 225 when you square minus 15 squared, minus 240. 225 minus 240 gives me minus 15. So the discriminant has come out to be negative. Therefore, b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, and that means no solutions. But let's have a look at this just using this uh, GeoGebra applet. And the GeoGebra applet, the link I will put in the notes of this video. So if you go to the notes, you'll be able to get to the applet. So we'll just go to that. So here we have got the a court, the quartic, ax to the power of 4 plus bx, bx uh, squared plus c. And we've got that a is set to 1, b is minus 15, and c is 60. So we've got the situation we've got here. So we've got 1x squared squared plus minus, which means minus 15x squared plus 60. Now you can see, if you calculate the discriminant for that thing, we've got minus 15. The curve does, does not cut the uh, axis. All right, so here, because the discriminant is negative, you know you're not going to get any real solutions. However, if I uh, change just C for a moment, if you look at C, what happens here is that at this particular point, you can see the discriminant is getting closer to uh, zero. In fact, there it is equal to zero, and then you see that it cuts at one place. So you're going to get two solutions to x squared. You're going to get one uh, here and one negative one as well, because there's, there'll be two solutions at uh, zero because it's a quartic. Okay, and then if we carry on, after that particular point, we're going to get 
we're going to get uh, four solutions, okay? Because for, to this, we're going to get two solutions to x squared, okay? We, each x squared solution will give a positive and a negative value. So this is why, it, it, although it is a uh, quartic, it is a disguise uh, quadratic, and therefore the discriminant will tell us about the nature of the roots. We just re need to remember when it is positive, when the discriminant is positive, we're going to get four solutions because we get two uh, solutions to x squared. And then if we, you don't have to always just change C, you could just change uh, the others if you wanted to. At this particular point, to point you're just going to get one solution, i.e. the discriminant is equal to zero to get one solution, but two solutions to x, um, well, x squared, because you're solving this for x squared using a quadratic method. And then when the discriminant is negative, like we had in our situation, uh, we're going to get, you're going to get no solutions. And therefore you can say there's only going to be one root to the actual equation. So going back to this, if this is a graph of the actual uh, of the actual uh, original function, y is equal to 1 over 60x5 minus 1 over 4x cubed plus x. And we can see we just got one root at that particular point, 0, 0. Okay, so I hope this clears up any misunderstanding. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.